mentioned the Golden Standard, the official comic book review series of the Golden Age 1942. We're Blount County's number one source for comics, gaming collectibles, and so much more. And we're located at 316 Court Street, right across the street from the courthouse in the historic WGAP radio building in downtown Maryville, Tennessee. So today we're taking a look at Marvel's new miniseries, Silver Surfer Black, written by Donny Cates and Trad Moore, with art by Trad Moore and colors by Dave Stewart. During a battle with Thanos' Black Order, several of the cosmos' mightiest heroes were tossed into a black hole, including Silver Surfer. Sending Norman Rad and his surfboard billions of years into the past, and with three issues in already on a whirlwind of an adventure, in which he has encountered angry sentries on a dying planet, Null the symbiote god, and Ego the living planet. We'll go ahead and get started talking about the artwork in Silver Surfer Black. First of all, I just want to talk about these covers, I and mean, these covers are just fantastic pieces of artwork. I feel like if you were to take away the title and the Marvel logo and even the barcode down there in the center, you'd have a fantastic piece of artwork that was just suitable for framing. I mean, these are comics you want to hang up on your wall uh, when you're done reading them. They're just so pretty with the covers. The overall artwork in the book has a very trippy, psychedelic look to it, and even the surfer himself uh, has a more sleeker, uh, more fluid-like look to him, sort of like liquid silver, and it's like his body is constantly shimmering as he moves, and I felt like that really complemented this art style very well. And it all comes together with Dave Stewart's coloring. I mean, his color palettes really just make everything dazzle and add a unique feeling and tone throughout the entire series so far. And I want to take a moment to talk about sort of the use of panels and dimension and spacing and, and positioning of the characters uh, in this book. Most of the time throughout the series, the artwork doesn't feel very grounded. And I'll give you kind of an example of what I'm talking about here. Take, for instance, the cover of issue two. I mean, there's a lot of times where... Silver Surfer, he's out there in space, he's having these adventures on his surfboard, and he could be floating around upside down, or he could be coming at you sideways off the page, uh, things like that. But also, uh, the use of angles and sort of the, the perspective and the way they use the panels, uh, sometimes the, the, the perspective can be tilted, it can be slanted. Uh, so with that combination, what they've done is they've added a sense of freedom uh, to the movement and to the action sequences of this book. And I feel like the artists really don't know any bounds uh, when it comes to that sort of thing. Which leads me to want to talk about splash pages. I love splash pages. A lot of time when you're reading a comic, you kind of see them coming. Uh, and there are a couple of uh, really glorious splash pages uh, throughout the first three issues. But uh, there are a few that are a little bit different than what I've seen. Some of these splash pages just have a lot going on. And the artists use this opportunity to kind of show uh, the sequence uh, of action events. I mean, they might show... Silver Surfer here, and then he whips around through here, and then around through here. But once again, they go back to using that perspective. And there's one splash page in particular I want to talk about that I just absolutely loved. It's when uh, Silver Surfer encounters Ego, the living planet. I'm not going to give too much away, but basically Silver Surfer is going to dive right through the planet. And as he does so, it's a huge two-page splash page. And as he's going through it, Silver Surfer is describing uh, the different layers of Ego. And as he does so, you see that sequence like that, but they, they also use these different textured panels throughout it, and they, they show, you know, several different perspectives of this action, which I thought was just amazing, a uh, really fantastic job. And continuing with the art, I have to say the, the writing in this is, is, is art within itself. It's very poetic. There's one moment throughout this book I kind of want to read to you real quick. Um, you know, Silver Surfer, he's alone in space, and he has a lot of time to reflect, you know, once he was the Herald of Galactus, the planet killer. Uh, so he has a lot of guilt uh, over the many civilizations uh, that he has helped destroy with Galactus. Like, I want to read this one point, part to you right here. He says, world upon world, civilization after civilization, I have seen such wondrously horrible things, wondrously horrible things. Uh, and, and the writing is like that uh, throughout. So um, in, a, in a sense, uh, you not only get like a visual thing, like there on the page, the artwork, but even the language uh, and, the, and the writing serves as artwork as well because you can, you start to use your imagination, you, you, you see images that aren't on the page, which I thought was just fantastic. All three issues of Silver Surfer Black are available right here at the Golden Age 1942, and you can stop by and pick those up, or you can hang out for just a few more seconds and listen about how you could win the first three issues of Silver Surfer Black. All you have to do is comment on this video telling us if you were a superhero, which mode of transportation would you use? Would it be a surfboard, a skateboard, a scooter, a bicycle, a unicycle? 
Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Just leave your comments below and let us know. We'll be going live on Facebook next week to do a random drawing to announce the winner. This has been all new edition of the Golden Standard. And hey, everybody, look who came to see me, my nephew, Neil. Hey, Neil, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say, I'll see you at the Golden Age. Say, see you at the Golden Age. What? He says, see you at the Golden Age. All right. See you guys. Bye.